Yeah, so what's occurred? So, I'd like to report um, that I... Well, I'm at risk because um, I have uh, not enough medication. I have um, a apparently a mental illness, but now an acquired brain injury. Um, and I, I'm virtually squatting. Um, and this is because of a um, bit of a conspiracy going on. Now, um, I've tried to contact the police many times and um, I've got no acknowledgement whatsoever. And I just want to um, say very basically um, that I've, the, um, well, I mean, I'm in a bad state, right? So I'm worth multi-millions of dollars. I know people don't believe this and I know you're going to think that I'm probably crazy because that's how it's framed. But I've been robbed of millions of dollars. Rich. Rich, is that short for Richard? Yep. Yep. Surname? I'm not going to tell you my surname because I've actually been to um, uh, the, 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 the Footscray police so many times and I've been to, to IBAC to report that corruption. I've been to the federal police. I'm a banned whistleblower. I'm banned at IBAC, at APRA, at APRA and at the Commonwealth Ombudsman. And I um, have been banned from the legal fraternity and I have been character assassinated right across the board. What I'm seeking from okay, you... Well, if, I, if, you want, if you need any assistance, then I need to know who you are and where you're calling from. Well, I'm calling from Footscray. My name's Rich. Yeah, well, Rich from Footscray, I need a bit more information than that. What's your surname and what's your address? If I tell you my surname... Are you going to look it up and then prejudice me? I don't me? have that capability. For well, privacy reasons, I don't have that capability to look that information up. I'm not a police officer. I'm a civilian who's trained to take crime reports and get you to speak to the person you need to speak to. Oh, so right. Okay. Sorry. I thought I was speaking to a police officer. I'm, I'm certainly not a police officer. Okay. Well, um, I, I don't know what to do because... um. Like, I'm calling the police assistance line for assistance. I've been robbed of millions of dollars. I've literally suicided in a hospital that was deemed fatal and then kicked out and rejected from all services and I've lived in abject poverty for a year. Now, when I tell you my name, um, it's going to go through to someone at the police and they're going to reject me because I've been already rejected from the ombudsman. I have no rights. I'm not going to be rejected. Pardon? Rich, I just need to know. I just need to gather some information. I need to go and speak to a police sergeant because of the nature of what you've spoken about. Okay. All right. Well, well, I, I, so could... I, will, I will need to speak to a police sergeant here at the assistance line. I cannot say what, what, what may be flagged or what may come up in a search of your name. However, because you are asking for assistance, I need to know who you are and where you are so that we can help. Okay. I just want to say briefly that I am at risk of um, um, death because there's hitmen that have threatened me at the door. I'm a famous inf in, um, a famous um, uh, vagrant and um, I'm, I'm in danger and I haven't paid rent and I haven't got medication. So uh, my name, surname is McLean. Okay. Richard, when did that happen? When were you threatened at the door? Oh, I can't. It was back in... Um, uh, uh, oh, no. Sorry. January, February. Okay, no worries. Richard, I'm just going to place you on hold. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. This is the government music that everyone has.
have you on with Sergeant Saw here at the police assistance line. Thank you, Sergeant Who, sorry? Saw. Saw, okay, no worries, thank you. Hi Richard, what can I do for you? Hi Sergeant Saw. Um, I'm um, a troublesome case that the police don't like, and um, mm -hmm. I'm in some trouble. See, um, I, f for starters, I I've got enough, not enough food, medication, or, um, yeah. or care. I have a brain injury, apparently a mental illness, and um, for years I've been systemically oppressed by government agencies. Now, okay. I, I've tried to um, bring this up with police down at Footscray, but they refuse to listen to me. And um, Firstly? Yep. Firstly? Yep. How is that a police matter? Well, I've been robbed of millions of dollars and I have death threats at the door. Oh, okay. Okay, you've been locked. Okay, yeah, that's true. You can start with it. Well, I'm confused, mate, because I've been gaslighted so much by police trying to deflect me. It drives me fucking insane. Well, I'm confused too. What? Okay. Right, well, continue on. I've been robbed of millions of dollars. I wish to make a complaint to the police and have it valued and ledgered so that I may recoup my... Um, Losses and detriment. I've spoken to you before, Richard. I've spoken to you before, haven't I? I don't know. I can't remember anything. Mm. Okay, so how, do you, well, how can you remember you had me as well as then? Sorry? If you can't remember, remember anything, how can you remember you had me had me as well as? Oh, don't bloody split hairs, mate. Look, you're a cop. I've been robbed of millions of dollars. What are you going to do about it? Do you want me the evidence? I'll send it to you. What's your email address? I'm not doing anything. Firstly, you tell me, I ask you a question, you say, I can't remember anything. Secondly, then you say, I've been robbed of millions of dollars. I don't remember if I've spoken to you before, sir. But you said I don't remember anything, is what you said. I would like to present information to you as a police okay. officer. Well, go ahead. All right, go ahead. You're not really invested in um, in this, are you? I'm listening, girl. Continue. Well, I'd just like to say that Australia and the government is a signatory to the Charter of Human Rights and Responsibilities Act 2006. Uh, wait, wait. And a public authority... Yeah, wait, wait. A public authority is a public official such as you, and you must act within the Charter. You know that? Mm. So it says we, we have... Yeah, here we go. You, you can you can diss me, but this is you, mate. What well, can, can I get your name again, please? Sergeant Glenn Saw. Sergeant Glenn Saw. Well, you've got to act in the tone of every person has the right to recognition as a person before the law. You are the police. Mm -hmm. You police the law. Um, the police, we have the right to re enjoy my human rights without discrimination. Sounds like you're just yeah. fobbing me off, mate. Like you're discriminating against me. I'm listening to you. Okay. Um, every person is equal before the law without discrimination and has the right to equal and effective protection against discrimination. I've been discriminated against. Do you want me to list them? Yeah. Well, um, first of all, let's just go from recent. I suicided in a public hospital, the result of systemic oppression that went on for years. Well, you didn't suicide. What? Well, I mean, it was, a fa it was, it was called a fatal suicide. It was, it was a fatal injury and a lethal attempt from the Freedom of Information. So I would have died if I has, wasn't accidentally found. Right, but you right? didn't suicide, did you? Because you're not dead. So, so yeah, I'm yeah, not, I'm not dead, but I had good... It might good, have been an attempt. I had an attempted suicide. Well, I would like to interject there and say that the... Um, the, um, the hospital freedom of information said it was lethal and a fatal attempt. Are you, are you dead? If I hadn't have been found, I would be. And the government and the police okay. covered okay. it up. Okay. Are, are you dead? The government and the police covered am it I up. Talking to a ghost? Am I talking to a ghost or am I talking to you? Can I just interject with something else all of a sudden? Please, if you'll indulge me. Firstly, firstly, suicide, suicide. If you saw 
suicide, you are dead. You cannot suicide and live, okay? You can have an attempted suicide and live, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so, now I'll run somewhere. And and a hospital would have would have the fucking um the you know the um agent the the, the okay, responsibility to look after someone to not die. Wouldn't they? Exactly. And you'd think that you would be able to sue for that, but I've been banned from the legal agency and I've been banned from the police. And I've been banned as a whistleblower. You you wanna sue someone for you attempting to kill yourself? They have a duty of care and it was an agreed illegal contraband. Yes I do. My former partner of... You tried to kill yourself and they saved you. I don't think I saw him for. Hang on, mate. I just want to say something. My former partner and ASIO agent um, has robbed me right. of half a million dollars. Tell you what, buddy. You're talking crap, all right? I'm not talking crap. It's Steve Isonides. Look him up. 11th of the 12th, 1972. His name's Steve Isonides. He um, embezzled $1.5 million in an offshore tax haven. Do you want to go on? And also, I'm dealing heaps of heroin to um, try and deal with this, um, cool. with this, um, um, you know, this obliteration of my character. Because I have nowhere else, nowhere else to go and nowhere to live. So I've got kilos of it here, man. Are you dealing heroin? Oh, yeah. Kilos of it. Because I'm character assassinated. Are you going to come and arrest me now? I'd like you to indulge my evidence, mate. I'm indulging your evidence. All right. Well, go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. I am actually listening to you. I'm listening to you. Go ahead. 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 Go Uh, aren't you legally obliged to give me an email address if I'm reporting um, tax evasion, fraud, no, all no, that kind no. of stuff? No, I'm not. I'm legally obliged to give you my name and my rank. What's your rank? And where I'm from. Sergeant. And where are you from? My name is Sar Sergeant Glenn, so I'm from a police assistance line. And my number is 29448. There you go. I've given you all the information you are. I'm a, I am required to give you. Okay. And you're absolutely not invested in any of the things I have to say, are you? Well, you I'm invested. I'm listening to you, mate. Well, it says here. Invested, it says it says here. It says here under the it says here under the laws that um, you're supposed to abide by. A person must not be deprived of his or her property other than in accordance with the law. So when my former partner left me with um, five hundred thousand dollars in um, super that he owed me. And he threatened a hitman firstly, on me. Firstly, firstly, that sounds like a civil debt, so not for us, but anyway. But he threatened a hitman on me, mate. He threatened a hitman on you? Yeah, to keep away from him. And recently, another hitman's come to the door and said, a keep, keep the... F what? Did you just say you mad? I said a hitman. Is that, is that what you said? Yeah, he's, he's threatened... He's attacking me by proxy by government agencies, yes. And who's the hitman that he sent to your door? I don't know, I didn't see him. He said very clearly, though, he's keep away from his super. Very well. Pardon? He seems to be able to get a lot of hitmen. There's not many... Look, as far as I know, Victoria, there's not that many hitmen around. But if he's able to get two of them, he must be good. What are you going to do about the situation of me not being safe? Yes, I did. I said I haven't got food, medication. I've had a brain injury well, from a firstly, suicide. Firstly, mate, as I said to you, firstly, first off, your medication is not my issue because that's a medical issue, not my issue. Okay, the fact that you're not homeless, not a police matter. I can't do anything about that. But you can do something about the millions of dollars I've been robbed of from um, no, from agencies. And who stole these millions of dollars? 
Well, I'll let you know. I've lost um, <coughs> half a million from my former partner. I've been scapegoated of a um, million dollars from the Australian Human Rights Commission. I've been scapegoated from, um, uh, wait, 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 um, one to two million dollars from AFCA. I've been scapegoated of $75,000 from my insurer um, who said that um, the reason I left work was a prior illness and it wasn't. I've lost $20,000 from VOCAT as a survivor of a um, brutal violent assault and I've lost $50,000 from a um, child sexual abuse case in which I was the victim. So you've been a victim of a child sexual abuse case, a violent assault. You're changing the topic. You're not listening to where I left, where I lost the money. No, I'm asking you, how'd you lose the money? You know what? I think you should suck a big, fat, <laughs> fucking bag of cocks, mate. Do you know that? How'd you lose the money? I'm asking you. I've just said there's a character assassination around my personality. How did you, how did you lose that money? It is owed to me in detriment. Oh, oh so you haven't lost it. You're a fucking no, cunt, you know that? I oh, know I yeah. You haven't lost the money though, have you? You're a fucking cunt. I've, I've lost it in detriment, and I expect to be able to go to the police. But you haven't... You, you never had the money. What's your name and rank again? Did you ever have the money or not? Yeah. When? Suck my fat, gay, mad cock motherfucker. That's what you're telling me.